Hello everyone, this week we do a deep dive into the sky. Before we get started, Joyce, what do you think? I think you need to get off the internet. Okay, great. By the end of this video, we are going to decide once and for all if the chemtrails conspiracy belongs in one of these three categories. Debunked, could be, or legit. What do you know about the chemtrails conspiracy as of right now? I only know about the Lana Del Rey song. Chemtrails over the country club. Yes, you like that song? It was in the research. <laughs> Let's get into it. The chemtrails conspiracy theory is the belief that the government or other parties are secretly participating in a program which adds toxic chemicals to the atmosphere from airplanes and other aircrafts. The so-called chemtrails are those visible plumes in the sky left by planes. While most believers in the theory agree that something is up, there are different motivations for what exactly. Some of the theories include sterilization, reduction of life expectancy, mind control, or weather control. I just really feel like mind control, like the rules of the society has already been instilled in us through yes. education. So why would they have to give us mind control if they're already teaching us what's right and what's wrong to live in the society? You're saying why would they need to put chemicals in the air yeah. because they're controlling our minds in so many other ways? Mm -hmm. The theory largely started to gain followers back in the mid-1990s after the U.S. Air Force published a paper in 1996 titled Weather as a Force Multiplier. The paper was largely speculative for the possibilities of the future, but prompted many to become curious about the modern day. These concerns somewhat came to fruition in 2008 when the Chinese government seeded clouds ahead of the 2008 Olympic ceremony, essentially creating rain in other parts of the country to keep the stadium free of rainfall. Isn't that wild? I didn't even know that was possible. So in 1996, the Air Force says that they, uh, we're, we're looking into this. 2008, mm -hmm. it just was done. An alternate motive for the theory took off after some investigative journalists began describing implied plots by the government about poisoning the population through trails of jet planes. Some, including Suzanne Mayer, the founder of a group called Bye Bye Blue Sky, which was formed to, quote, raise awareness about chemtrails, believe that there is evidence to support the theory due to the formation of such trails being relatively new. She told the BBC, quote, I ask that we move beyond the notion that this is a conspiracy theory. 20 to 30 years ago, we never saw these trails. We had a beautiful blue sky. So how can you make a plane without some kabut? You know what I'm <laughs> I saying? don't know. That's... How you start a car without so... a little grunt, grunt, grunt? Mm -hmm. yes. You know what I'm saying? Like a vroom, vroom, vroom. I weirdly do know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> because we've been friends for years. Yeah, I, the weirdest thing is to say that like, we didn't have these uh, ev several years ago. No. Which I don't think is actually true. <laughs> How engines work is that it releases a type of gas for the engine to start and to keep running. So they're asking for an engine that doesn't require any like output. That's ahead of the times. But depending on you, how you look at it, some surprisingly real big names have either bought into the theory or opened their eyes to the truth. In 2014, Jaden Smith cryptically posted a video of a jet flying through the air, releasing the streams of mist you often see in the sky. In 2015, Kylie Jenner tweeted a poorly spelled and punctuated graphic meme questioning the effects of the lines of, quote, white stuff in the sky. Prior to all of this in 2009, Prince made a rare TV appearance with Tavis Smiley on PBS, where he brought up chemtrails, suggesting that after their appearance, everyone started fighting without any logical reason why. He essentially said everyone's mad at each other all the time and there's, there's no way to explain it except for the line in the sky. We Even love Prince. I mean, I would fight anyone for that man. Gotta say. But with all of these prominent believers, or at least dabblers, how does the government answer these claims? Well, in the early aughts, the Air Force posted a disclaimer on their website saying that, quote, the chemtrail hoax has been investigated and refuted by many established and accredited universities, scientific organizations, and major media publications. The EPA also published the same type of message, as well as a fact sheet about contrails, offering a scientific explanation as to what those white lines actually are. I don't trust the government. That's the hard part of all of this. There is evidence, the Tuskegee syphilis studies, mm -hmm. MKUltra and, mm -hmm. and Project Bluebird and all that. The government has been like, oh yeah, we were doing this. The government is sus. But do you think that the government now is doing it? Yeah, she's still sus. <laughs> Just because she's got a different wig on don't mean she ain't the same hoe. This, I mean, look, I can't argue with that. 
According to David Keith's research group of Harvard University, quote, extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof, and mainly that extraordinary proof hasn't been offered. The first peer-reviewed study examining the chemtrails theory was conducted out of the Carnegie Institution for Science in 2016. In the study, researchers were asked if they had ever uncovered any possible evidence of a government-run chemtrails operation throughout their study. 76 out of 77 leading atmospheric scientists and geochemists said no. Th these are scientists and researchers who are every day saying the government is destroying our atmosphere <laughs> in so many ways. But then they're going, but not this way. I so mean, I gotta trust them. That is, to me, that. That's like that. I mean, everything we said, I think it's still very valid, but. The government's shady. But I trust the scientists. You gotta side with my. Uh, Lab coats, maybe. With my squad in STEM. Hey, that was kind of good, Ziti. <laughs> I'm proud of you. So, what are those white lines in the sky? To explain this, we've devised a little science experiment. I love science! Me too. So the overarching explanation for those white lines in the sky mm -hmm. is that they are just trails of condensation, mm -hmm. known as contrails. Oh, okay! Because the reaction that you're seeing in the sky is a trail of ice crystals formed when the cold air of the atmosphere reacts to the hot air of the exhaust from the plane. Oh! Right? So, we're gonna try and mimic that here. We have a big beaker here. Oh, okay. We're gonna put some hot water into this beaker. This is gonna act as our hot exhaust. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put this over that. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna add an ice cube or two to the top of this to, co to cool that, which is gonna act as the atmosphere. And then we're gonna see a scientific reaction like you've seen all, quite often. I love that for all of us. So let's go ahead and pour the hot water. It's hot. It's hot. You're already seeing the condensation happen. This is hot as hell. And then I'm gonna put my atmosphere on top of that. Um, you actually don't. You, you actually don't even need this top part because you're seeing the condensation happen right there. Look at yeah. That. Uh, we're seeing it. We just mm. made. We just made condensation, which is exactly what's happening thousands and thousands of feet in the sky. Mm -hmm. Now it's worth pointing out that science might not sway those believers of the conspiracy theory. As a rebuttal by a lot of prominent chemtrail theorists, they say they can tell the difference between the two trails. Mm. They say, we know that some of those are contrails, mm -hmm. but not all of them. It's hard for me to like, sure. after a scientist say it, I'm like, if that's what the baby do all day, I'm gonna let her do her job. All right, Joyce, we gotta put this somewhere on the board. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you. Pop it up there somewhere. I think that anything is possible through our government. Okay. Okay, so it's up there. It's 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 mostly debunked, but it's in the could be just slightly. Just like 5%. Because because the government can do whatever it wants. The government can do whatever it wants, and just because you put a different wig on. Mhm. Mm it's still the same person. The same hoe. Well, different language, but. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joyce, mm -hmm. for joining me. And I can't wait to talk about more of these. Yeah. I fill that board right on up. <laughs> <laughs>